An old abandoned house surrounded by a gloomy forest stood in a quiet and secluded village. The villagers told terrible stories about the house, and no one dared to approach it. One day, a group of curious teenagers decided to check out how scary these stories are. They gathered at midnight and went to the house. The wind whistled around them, creating ominous sounds, and the moon illuminated their path. As they approached the abandoned house, they felt the atmosphere change. The air became heavy and filled with sinister energy. But the teenagers didn't stop. Their curiosity overcame their fear. The teenagers continued their gloomy journey to the abandoned house, despite the growing horror and anxiety in their hearts. The wind hummed in the branches of the trees, creating sounds like heavy breathing, and the branches rustled as if ghosts were gliding past. Approaching the threshold of the house, they felt the penetrating smell of rot and decay filling their nostrils. The wooden door creaked and groaned with every step they took, as if she was trying to dissuade them from entering. But unwavering curiosity ruled out all warnings. When they crossed the threshold, they were greeted by an atmosphere of darkness and evil. Rooms shrouded in cobwebs, like the web of death, decorated every corner. In the dim moonlight filtering through the broken windows, they noticed shadows moving along the walls, like demons chasing their dreams. The teenagers continued their exploration, step by step, peering into every dark niche and behind every door. They heard noises like a curse, and vague whispers that spoke of the unspeakable horror residing in this house. As they moved on, they began to see signs of past inhabitants. Scattered dolls with torn eyes and scratched faces caused a feeling of pain and anxiety. Dusty photographs on the walls displayed families whose smiles seemed distorted and cursed. The teenagers felt the presence of something invisible looking at them from the darkness. Ominous shadows danced on the walls, and a cold wind blew across their cheeks, as if invisible hands were trying to touch them. One of the teenagers, Mark, decided to enter the old pantry, which served as a cellar for the most terrible secrets of this house. When he opened the door, a chilling aura of death and destruction enveloped him. He saw walls covered with blood inscriptions and symbols that evoke fear and despair. The darkness hid him from the rest of the teenagers, and they heard his cry, which mixed with the cry of the ancient martyrs. They realized that the house had come alive with its dark forces and demanded a sacrifice. The remaining teenagers, filled with terror, rushed to the exit, but the walls began to narrow around them, as if they wanted to swallow them alive. The walls of the abandoned house slowly approached, squeezing the space around the teenagers. They could feel every breath becoming difficult, and their hearts were pounding wildly in their chests. Their screams filled the air, but they sounded muffled and lost in the darkness in which they were trapped. The walls were squeezing them more and more, as if they wanted to stretch with blood and flesh. The teenagers fought for every breath, their hands frantically pounding on the wooden panels, but the doors were locked forever. They realized that they were trapped in this cursed house, and their fates were sealed. Suddenly, one of the teenagers, Lisa, noticed a small crack in the wall, from which an icy wind was seeping. Her heart beat with hope. She urged the other teenagers to pay attention to this and together they decided that this could be the only way to salvation. They began desperate attempts to get out through that crack. The skin of their hands was torn by the rusty edges, and blood soaked their fingers, but they did not stop. Their bodies slipped through the narrow passage, and the throbbing horror of the house continued to haunt them. With trembling hands, the teenagers made their way through a narrow passage, finding themselves in a dark dungeon that stretched under an abandoned house. The cold wind pierced them to the bone, and emptiness and deathly silence reigned around them. Exploring the dungeon, they found strange symbols carved on the walls, as if trying to warn of an invisible danger. With every step they took, they felt an invisible force pressing down on them, causing their hearts to pound even harder. In the distance, there was a distinct scraping and the sound of footsteps. The teenagers stopped, listening intently to the ominous sound that was getting closer. Suddenly, a gloomy silhouette appeared in front of them, a shadow that moved along the corridor. The shadow was slowly approaching the teenagers, their hearts were pounding with anxiety. 
They could not see the creature's face, as it was immersed in darkness. The silhouette enveloped them with an impenetrable sense of threat. The creature finally stopped in front of the teenagers. It began to whisper, like a hoarse voice from the depths of hell, telling the story of the suffering and evil that filled this place. Teenagers peered at his silhouette, trying to understand his true nature. The shadow told about her past, how she was once a human, but plunged into darkness, trying to gain immortality and unlimited power. Her soul was trapped in this gloomy dungeon, and she longed for liberation, ready to do anything to make it happen. The teenagers listened to the whisper of the shadow with amazement and fear. Their eyes widened when they heard about the fate of this creature immersed in darkness. They understood that they were facing an entity that was looking for power and immortality, but she paid a terrible price for her aspirations. The shadow uttered words that penetrated to the very depths of souls. She described her insatiable thirst for power and how she became a prisoner of darkness, sacrificing her humanity and becoming a monster imprisoned in this dungeon. Her suffering and evil permeated through every word, causing the teenagers to have goosebumps. The shadow begged the teenagers to be released from this dungeon. She promised that if they helped her, she would be grateful and could offer them something valuable. But the teenagers felt that the agreement with this shadow carries danger and uncertainty. They discussed their opportunities and risks. Some offered to refuse help, fearing to succumb to the temptation of evil. Others wanted to give this creature a chance for redemption and liberation. Fear and hope struggled in their hearts, but in the end they decided that it was impossible to leave even the darkest souls and prisoners. With mixed feelings, they agreed to help the shadow. They understood that it could be dangerous and that there was a possibility that the shadow was using them to its own advantage. But they had hoped that they would be able to overcome this evil and help free a soul that had suffered for too long. The teenagers began to explore the dungeon in search of a key that could free the shadow. They penetrated into all its corners, their footsteps distorted in the echo of the dark corridors, and the light of their lanterns reflected off the damp walls. Eventually, in a dark room, they discovered an ancient artifact, the Stone of Liberation. It was got one of the teenagers, Emily, picked up a rock and offered it to Shadow. While she was holding it in her hands, something incredible happened. The light shone from inside this stone, forming a bright fiery sphere. The Shadow shuddered, and then its silhouette began to slowly dissolve, as if its dark energy was being resolved into light. The teenagers were silent watching the shadow disappear before their eyes. They felt that the darkness she carried was disappearing with her. The air around them became fresh and permeated with hope. After that, the teenagers were released from the dark dungeon, leaving behind an abandoned house and a gloomy shadow.